JJ DeVos, aka Jonathan D, is one of the most popular members of Street Outlaws. The 49 year old has been racing for over 20 years and is one of the fiercest racers on the show and does not shy away from racing anymore, no matter how tough his opponent is. A reason for this has to be his love for street racing, but also a secret ingredient that many fans don't know about. In this video, we'll take a look at JJ the Boss's life as a street racer, his incredible achievements on the racetrack, and what he's up to these days. Stay tuned! JJ the Boss didn't have it easy growing up. He was born in Joyner, Arkansas, a small town with less than 1,000 people. His early days were spent in poverty. As a result, JJ would hustle and gamble on the streets, doing whatever he could to earn a living. JJ was always passionate about cars, particularly muscle cars from a young age. By 10, he was already racing on dirt and gravel roads around Mississippi County. He soon learned how to fix cars and took that up as a side hustle. Living the dangerous street life eventually caught up to JJ. He was sentenced to 8 years in prison for several unlawful activities, such as the illegal smuggling of car parts, organizing races, and participating in forbidden underground racing events. While we can confirm or deny these claims, this experience encouraged JJ to start a new chapter and get his life back on track. JJ's rise to fame began when he was featured in Street Outlaws Memphis in 2018. JJ had already been racing for many years and built a strong reputation with his crew. So, when Discovery came knocking on the door for a spin-off show solely dedicated to the street racing scene in Memphis, JJ had no reason to decline. He quickly became a fan favorite and has become a regular on the show since. Some of JJ's notable wins came in the ninth season of Street Outlaws Memphis, where he and his crew won several races, making a name for themselves on the show. His most notable win came against Todd, where the crew ended up winning the $7,500 prize money. JJ and the crew have propelled themselves to the top of the list over the years with some massive wins over their opponents. Beside his passion for street racing, JJ's car have been instrumental in helping him win various street races over the decades. His signature car has to be the Murder Nova, a 1969 Chevrolet Nova that he has been racing since 2012. Another car that we have seen him drive is the Bounty Hunter, a 1970 Chevrolet Camaro that JJ acquired in 2017. He also uses the farm truck, a 1971 Ford F100 pickup that he often uses for grudge matches. While JJ has won several races over the years, he has also been involved in some serious accidents. In 2022, he and his wife Trisha were involved in a car accident that occurred when the two were racing each other in South Texas. Fortunately, JJ escaped without any serious injuries. His wife Trisha wasn't so lucky and had to undergo surgery. She returned to racing during JJ's arm drop event in the last quarter of 2022. Surprisingly, this wasn't the first time JJ was involved in an accident. Back in 2017, he was involved in a car crash when he fell asleep behind the wheel. He was driving his GMC Sierra pickup hauling two other cars when he struck a concrete culvert near Newport, Arkansas. The pickup was hauling JJ's old heavy and hyper his 1966 Chevy Second. The impact caused the Chevy, which was loaded in the rear of the flatbed open trailer, to break free from its tie-down straps and slam into the rear of the Chevy Second. Both racing machines ultimately ended up in the ditch, separated from the trailer and with parts strewn all along the roadway. JJ was also injured in the process, suffering a broken hand and a rib along with several cuts and bruises. JJ has made it from a life of poverty to one of the wealthiest street racers today. His love for street racing and determination to succeed has made him a role model for many attempting to make it into street racing. He is estimated to be worth over a million dollars according to some estimates. Besides street racing, he also owns and runs the car customization and repair shop South Memphis Street Racing. When it comes to his personal life, Street Outlaws fans already know that he's happily married to Trisha Midget Day. She is his racing partner and also features on the show. The couple have been together for two decades and have four children together. JJ also has children from previous relationships. Besides, he also has five grandchildren. It's a big happy family. JJ the Boss is a legend on Street Outlaws today. JJ doesn't believe in fancy cars. He believes keeping your head together in the street 
plays a bigger role in helping you win street races, and we can agree more. But we'd love to hear your thoughts on JJ DeVos. Is he the biggest street racer from Memphis? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next one.